everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl philly phil and i am here with a news break i'm sure all of you have heard about this yes yeah, just an unfortunate tragedy there in memphis tennessee right up the highway from me look at this guys it says breaking memphis police say a shooting suspect took the life of four and wounded three during hours long rampage this is from the associated press look at this i'm not going to even say his name because you know he doesn't need any he doesn't need any attention police say memphis shooting suspect took the lives of four during this rampage look at that mm -mm -mm. and you know social media always has a lot to say this is from twitter so a gunman who he live streamed himself driving around memphis and 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 just taking shots at people. He took the lives of four of them and wounded three others in a seemingly random attacks. And he was finally arrested after crashing a stolen car, police said. So he was driving a stolen car. And he live streamed himself on social media doing this. Look at this. That, and that's him smiling. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Boy, 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 you just never know what people what people are capable of. You just never know. So let's go to another uh, report here on this same incident. So it says here, four people lost their lives. Three others were injured after the man goes on a shooting spree across Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee, a shooting spree across Memphis and the Mid-South Wednesday who evening left four people dead and three others injured. The suspect responsible for causing fear and terror across the area is now in custody, according to the Memphis Police Department, MPD. Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis and other officials spoke Thursday morning about the detailed events of, the, of Wednesday night. People are frightened. People are angry. In times like this, it's sometimes hard for people to know what to do. Yes, it is. People are threatened and it is hard to know what to do when something like this happens. You know, you just never expect some. He was just driving around at driving in a light blue infinity and just shooting people. Was he high on drugs? What made him do this? What got him to this point in his life to make him just ruin his life? Why would he ruin it? 19 years old. Why would, why would he ruin his life like that? Just before 8 p.m., the city of Memphis issued a statement. If you do not need to be out, please stay home. The city tweeted. They were urging people. It said urged everyone to stay indoors. The suspect claimed to have shot five people in a Facebook Live seen by Fox 13. In that video, the man appears to walk into an AutoZone store, aim, aim his weapon at a man, and pull the trigger. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, MPD... Uh, confirmed that Kelly was connected to a, to the shooting Wednesday afternoon at an auto zone on Jackson near Wells. The University of Memphis, they were on lockdown after the shots were fired. Wow. You know, this happened not too far from Little Rock, guys. You just never know when people are going to flip out and lose it. And I just wanted to share this uh, content with you guys. There was one more part of the story I wanted to share with you. Hold on a second. All right. And here from the AP, it says that, you know, the police arrest the Memphis man that was in the live streaming uh, shootout where it took four people's lives. And there's pictures there from Memphis. Wow. A gunman who live streamed himself driving around Memphis, taking the lives of people in random, just a seemingly random attacks, was finally arrested after crashing his stolen car, police said early Thursday. The hours-long rampage had police warning people across the city to shelter in place, locking down a baseball stadium and university campuses and suspending public bus services as frightened residents wondered where the man might strike next. It reminds you of what happened in Virginia all those years ago. The man and his son, his stepson, was driving around D.C. area, the DMV, and taking lives. You guys remember that? Ezekiel Kelly, I did say his name, 19, a violent felon who was released early from prison this year, was taken into custody at around 9 p.m. Seems like he missed it and wanted to go back home. He wanted to go back to what he knows best. He was arrested in the Memphis neighborhood of Whitehaven, police said. Memphis Police Director 
C.J. Davis said during a, a news conference early Thursday that four people had lost their lives and three others were wounded in seven shootings and at least two carjackings. The first uh, life was taken at 12.56 a.m. Wednesday and officers responded to three more crime scenes before the evening before receiving a tip at 6.12 p.m. that the suspect was live streaming himself, threatening to cause harm to citizens. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. And then here's just some pictures from the city, guys. Look at this. Memphis police work an active shooter scene on Popular Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. Look at this. And there he is. Just pictures of him. And then pictures from everything that's going on. Wow. Y'all, you just never know. You never know. You never know who might flip and lose it at any given moment. But guys, you guys stay safe. I just want to bring this uh, story to you. I'm sure you've heard about it. But hey, you know we're going to report everything that's breaking over here. Your girl, Eat With Philly Phil, all right? Thanks for stopping by.